Bad Company lead vocalist Paul Rodgers is taking a distasteful approach in regards to the passing of former Bad Company lead vocalist Brian Howe. My name is Sean Morrison. Okay, the let's go to the timetable. Mr. Howe passed away, Brian Howe, of course, passed away on May 6th of 2020 to a heart attack. I thank Kip Frazier for that information once again. And um, so far, his former band, Bad Company, has not even put out a statement regarding his passing. They don't even acknowledge his time in the band. I even discussed that in another video. Okay, in this like 20 second video from Paul Rogers, which is on the Paul Rogers page, his like page as well as the Bad Company like page, he's there. I don't know if he's drunk or just acting like a fucking jackass. He's an idiot now anyway, after I saw this. Basically saying that he's still alive, that the um, rumors of him dying are not true. He did not mention anything at all regarding Brian Howe. So it looks like here that he's making fun of his death. Uh, I mean, Paul Rogers, I used to respect you. I have almost every one of your albums in bad company. Listen to some of your solo songs, including Drifters. Almost went to go see you at a solo show, but couldn't make it because I had other commitments. I was thinking about going to see you in bad company again when you come around. You know what? Fuck no. I will no longer see Bad Company with Paul Rogers or any of these guys ever again for the way that they have treated Mr. Brian Howe. This is fucking ridiculous. You make a 16 second video poking fun at his passing. I'm still alive, everybody. It's May 7th or whatever. I don't know if you're in, I don't know where the fuck you did this video for. Is it a beach or a fucking jungle or jungle resort in London? I have no fucking clue, but you know what? You're a fucking moron. That's right, I will fucking curse. I don't care. He would would it better company have a song called Feel Like Making Love? It's more like he feel likes make he feel like I was gonna say feel like making them, let's see. Feel like being a jackass. My name is Paul Rogers. Yeah. I mean he, can, he couldn't even show respect to the man. I might have had a disagreement with him over songs he performed in concert, and he might have threatened me with a lawyer because of a video I did, but you know what? That's minor. What I do today? I went on Amazon.com at about 10 o'clock in the morning and bought a digital copy of Tin Man Roof. I felt better. And Brian, your music is still great and will always be great. And I'm hoping the radio stations start playing more of it. Hope I can go into Walgreens again and, and hear um, Smoke Without a Fire. Because I did hear that song, like I mentioned there, a few times. I mean, once once there, but I'm, the stuff, rest of the stuff is on serious. But getting getting back to this motherfucker Paul Rogers. I mean, you've been in this music business for a long fucking time. From free, with all right now, of course you've been with... You, you were a bad company for a brief period of time. The Firm. The Law with um, Kenny Jones, the second new drummer. He did solo stuff. Went back to Bad Company on and off. I mean, you guys could have acknowledged the passing of Brian Howe in a nice way. Even if you didn't get, even if you didn't get along with the guy. Just could have said... Our condolences go, go out to our former singer, uh, Mr. Brian Howe. That's all you had to do. But what did you do? You went on your fucking Facebook page and acted like a jackass. I know I said it before in the video, and I'll say it again. And I don't mean to rant, but come on. You expect fans to respect you for that? There's a lot of people out there that respect the Brian Howe era, believe it or not. He did four albums with Bad Company. One of them went platinum, one of them went, two of them went, went gold. Had a few top 40 hits. And um, this is the way you act? It's unfucking believable It really is. Between yourself 
and the other members of Bad Company. And I only have a couple more things to say in regards to this um, 70 plus year old scumbag Paul Rogers. One, I will never see a Bad Company show again with you in it. And hopefully, um, Robert Hart, your third singer, which you guys even blow, blow, blow off, can do a tribute to Mr. Brian Howe somehow. That we'll have to wait and see. But thirdly, I know a lot of people out there that will no longer support Paul Rogers. And you know what? That's the way it's going to happen. No more Paul Rogers. It's that simple. I'll be very nice about this, but I have to say it. Paul Rogers, go fuck yourself. Shame, shame, shame.